Hello and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I'm trying on a whole bunch of jeans. They're mostly straight leg styles, but I've also got one pair of wide leg jeans and one pair of kick flares. Over the last few years, I've seen a significant increase in the popularity of jeans that are not skinny leg jeans. I've seen kick flares on the likes of Jeanne Dama and Alexa Chung, and a brief scroll of Pinterest shows me that Rosie Huntington Whiteley is also a fan. Mum jeans have also been so widely popular that I've owned and loved pairs myself. I like that they're a looser fit, but they're still tapered towards the ankle, which I think is a good look. Straight leg jeans have also been popular for a while, and it was another YouTuber, the Anna Edit, who through her many videos convinced me to get a pair of straight leg jeans to try for myself. And more recently, we're starting to see a proper flared jean renaissance drawing on the 70s, 90s, and noughties. Now, the slight hitch I'm having with all of these super cool denim styles is that I am not sure how to wear them, and I'm also not quite sure if they're gonna suit me. I bought my first pair of straight leg jeans in a mid-wash denim. They're the ones I'm wearing right now. And since I bought this pair of jeans, I've had loads of comments from friends saying they wish they could wear other denim styles, but they can't for whatever reason relating to their hips or their legs or whatever. So today I'm trying on 11 pairs of jeans that aren't skinny in an attempt to convince you that mid-sized women can wear other jean styles and to hopefully end up with a couple of extra pairs for myself going into the cooler months. So let's get into it. So every pair of jeans that I'm trying on today is in a 32 inch waist or an Australian size 14, which translates to a US size 10. So theoretically they should all fit the same, but we know that's never the case. I'm also wearing some shorts underneath because I am not comfortable getting my entire kit off in front of the camera, but I only have beige ones. So hopefully YouTube doesn't have a problem with that. So let's get some of these open and see what I've got here. All right, so the first pair of jeans I've got are the Levi's Ribcage Straight Ankle Jeans in the color Georgie and a size 32. This is what they look like. They also have a button fly on the inside, which is a bit different. And they've got a finished hem. I already love these jeans. I was really hoping I wouldn't like these ones because they're the most expensive out of all of the ones that I've got, but I think I really like them. They're clearly incredibly flattering. They are a very high rise, which I like. Yeah, I like these jeans. All right, that's the end of the haul. Um, I'm done. I think I'll just take these jeans. I don't need to try on anything else. In all seriousness though, the next pair of jeans are the ASOS Design High Rise Stretch Slim Straight Leg Jeans in Washed Black. So these ones have a zip fly and a finished hem. So first impressions of these jeans on me are that they aren't as high a rise as the Levi's ribcage jeans, which is absolutely to be expected because those are a super high rise jean. There's a little bit of a gap at the back of the waist forming, which will probably only get bigger as the jeans stretch out as I wear them. And also these ones are, they're not as long. So they're almost a slightly crop style. The next pair of jeans are the ASOS Design Florence Authentic Straight Leg Jeans in Bright Midwash. So as you can see, these ones have a zip fly and a finished hem. Oh. I was wondering when this was gonna happen and these jeans don't fit. They're the same size as the previous jeans from the same brand, but just a different style. And there is like, there's, no way I am getting these zipped up. I can't even pull them like all the way up on my thighs. This is ridiculous. So the next pair of jeans are also from ASOS. They're actually the same style as the black ones that I tried on earlier, but they're in the color tan, which I thought would be interesting for styling purposes. I wear tons of black in winter and I love the combination of black with tan. And I'm just imagining like having tan jeans with a black turtleneck, black boots, maybe a navy coat it would be such a great look to break up that all those dark colors that we tend to wear in winter. So this is what they look like. They've also got a zip fly and a finished hem. The reason I've ordered most of these jeans in a finished hem is because I'm not allowed to wear a raw hem to work and I wanna be able to wear some jeans to work on casual Friday. 
So even though these jeans are the same waist size in the same style as that previous pair I wore, they feel really different. They're a lot stretchier, whereas the other pair felt like a much more rigid denim. This one has a similar feel to a lot of skinny jean styles. These ones I did get in a slightly longer pant length. I think there might be too much fabric around here, which is looking a bit odd and they're a lot thinner. So you can see the line of my shorts in them. That's one indication to me that they're not made the same way as the previous pair of jeans. Yeah, I'm not sure about these. I'm gonna have to style them up a little bit and see if I can make them work or not. The final pair of ASOS jeans that I've got are the ASOS Design High Rise Stretch Effortless Crop Jeans in the color black. So this is what they look like. I'm noticing that the color of the metals on them is mixed. So you can see that it's got a copper rivet here, whereas the color of the main button and the fly are a silvery metal. And then these ones have a raw hem. We've got another one. There is no way I am making this button meet the other side of the waistband. These ones are not keepers. <laughs> the next pair are the Topshop Editor Straight Leg Jeans in Dark Wash. This is what the Topshop Editor jeans look like. They have a button fly and a finished hem. I'm noticing that maybe a lot of brands do this where they've got copper rivets and silver buttons. I'm not sure what the deal with that is. Okay, so these are the jeans that have fit the worst out of every pair that I have tried. I literally can't even get them far enough up my thigh to even think about meeting the buttons. The next pair are a pair that I have already opened and worn and really like, so I know they fit me. They are the Topshop Raw Hem Straight Jeans in Wash Black. This is what they look like. They've got a zip fly, silver hardware, and they have a raw hem. So this is what this pair look like. I really like them. They're quite a high rise jean, which I like. I've worn them for two full days and they have stretched out a little bit, but not more than what would be reasonable. I don't think they'll stretch out too much. And they're, I don't know, they're just very comfortable. I like them. I'm enjoying the wash black color. Yeah. The next pair of jeans are the same style, but in a mid denim. And I have actually had these ones since about October or November last year. And I have worn them tons and I have loved them. These ones have silver hardware, a zip fly and a raw hem. I have had them taken in like an inch or so on the back because they had a bit of the bum gap, which I can tell that these jeans are the same style. They might get that and I might need to have them taken in, but I've just come to understand that that's what I need to do to get a good fit out of the jeans. So this is these ones, they're quite a high rise. They're a great vintage denim color. And because I've had them for months, I can assure you that I have loved wearing these jeans. The next pair are the cotton on long wide jeans in the color Coogee Blue. This is what they look like. They're a good vintage mid-wash kind of denim. They've got a zip fly with silver hardware, again, with the copper rivets and a finished hem, sort of. Actually, I don't know that I would call that a finished hem. Can you see that? It's like, it's been finished, but then it's been distressed on the bottoms, like you've dragged it on the floor. These jeans were incredibly hard to get on and I will not be keeping them because they definitely don't fit me. But I went and took my shorts off and I got them on. I got them zipped up just so I could show you what they do look like. I don't like how they fit on the waist. I think they're unnecessarily tight around here. And then for some reason, they're like a little bit bulgy up the top. They've got quite a big bum gap. They're a way too high rise for my body shape. Like they come up to basically just under my boobs, which is ridiculous. I am also convinced <laughs> that I am way not cool enough to wear flared jeans at the moment. Let me show you what I mean. The next pair are the cotton on mum jeans in the color chalk. This is what they look like. They have gold hardware, which I like, a zip fly and a finished hem. So this is what they look like on. I quite like these jeans. They were very tight. I had to lie down to zip them up, but I got them on and I really like how they look, but I'm not sure they'll stretch out enough for them to be comfortable enough to wear. So I might have to return them anyway, but I do really like these jeans. The final pair of jeans are the cotton on straight stretch jeans in the color black. 
They're very black in color, which is good to see. They have a silver button with a zip fly and the copper rivets again, and a finished hem. These jeans are really nice. When they say they are a stretch style, they are not kidding. These jeans have quite a lot of stretch in them, but I think that makes them very comfortable. I would be worried they would stretch out a little bit, but maybe they're fine. So I like how they look on the waist. I think they come to like a good point. I like the flat black color. I think it's always good to have a pair of flat black jeans in your wardrobe. I might keep these ones, I like them. Now that I have tried on all the jeans, I have decided that I will keep some of them and send a few of them back. So the ones that I'm keeping are obviously the Topshop jeans that I've had since October last year. I love those jeans and will be keeping them forever. The same Topshop jeans, but in washed black, I'm gonna keep these ones. And I did also try on another pair that were a similar straight leg style in a washed black that I also quite liked from ASOS, but I'm gonna keep these ones because I think I like them more than the ASOS ones. And of course the Levi's ribcage jeans. I do need to think about these though, because I wasn't expecting to like them as much as I did. And they're quite an expensive purchase. And I'm not sure if maybe I want them in black instead. So maybe I'll hop online and see if I can find them in some other colors. But I really, really rate these jeans. They're really nice. And then the last pair that I'm keeping are the final pair of jeans that I tried on. I still got them on, the cotton on ones. And these ones are really nice in the flat black color. So I think I'll keep these ones too. Some of the pairs I liked but didn't love were these ASOS tan jeans. I really like the color. I think the shape of these just weren't quite right for me. So I think the quest for a pair of tan or off-white jeans continues. Same for these cotton on ones. I really like the color of them, but the fit just wasn't quite right. So I think I am gonna have to put some time into finding some jeans that are not either black or blue and see if I can find a pair that do work for me. And then the last pair are these ASOS washed black jeans, which I think they're just too similar to the Topshop style that I also really like. So I'm gonna keep the Topshop ones and send these back. But if I didn't have the Topshop ones already, these ones would be a really good one. And then the jeans that didn't fit at all were the Topshop editor jeans, the ASOS Florence jeans, the ASOS effortless kick flare jeans, and the cotton on wide leg jeans. So I will not be keeping any of those. That's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe and I will see you back here for another video next week.